That's Dog Talk for Welcome to the 7th Annual Fall Pet Fest. He's just a bundle of joy. They're just like really cute and fun to play with. Great companionship. Nice to have around the house. Those are just a few of the many proud doggy parents who came out to show their support for their four-legged friends across Lee County. I've come every year. It looks like I'll be taking another one home. Hoping I don't see what I want. I've got three already. We have more to bring out, so we have plenty to go home for everybody today. And perhaps they'll bring them back to the Pet Fest next year. That's exactly what happened to Tessa, who was adopted just eight months ago. We figured we needed to bring her back because it would be a way to support them also. Like Tessa, many of the pets dress to impress. It seems as though every pet wanted to start his or her own trend at the fashion show. And others went all out and even disguised themselves as a bunny rabbit, a chicken, and even a lobster in hopes of winning the costume contest. While fun activities can be found at every turn, the Fall Pet Fest is also the place to learn about various animal services, like this one. We're giving people and dogs an opportunity that they otherwise wouldn't have, including inmates and the community. Although the event is primarily packed with dogs, several types of birds also made a special appearance. Who thought I'd meet an umbrella cockatoo here at the Fall Pet Fest? <laughs> And inside the shelter, many cats, as well as bigger dogs, waited for visitors. Well, I think I'm going to stop by and look at the dogs before I go home today. If you'd like to adopt, please contact the Lee County Animal Services. Reporting for the News Press in South Fort Myers, I'm Christine Lee.